Here's Dakota Lipsey with another story from the archives of Chronicle of the Old West. The phrase, long, tall Texan, rolls off the lips. Texan John Slaughter had a reputation anyone would be envious of, but he was neither long nor tall. If a man's reputation and accomplishments determined his physical stature, John Slaughter would have been over seven feet tall, but in reality, he was five foot three. John made up for his height with nerves of steel, a pearl-handled 44, and a double-barrel 10-gauge shotgun. Born in Louisiana, he came to Texas as an infant with his family. After a short stint in the Confederate Army and six years as a Texas Ranger, John Slaughter moved to New Mexico. In 1876, Slaughter had a gambling dispute with a Barney Gallagher. Barney came after Slaughter, but before Barney could pull his trigger on his shotgun, Slaughter shot him in the heart. New Mexico's Governor Lou Wallace took umbrage to the shooting and not only took out an order for Slaughter's arrest, he placed John Slaughter at the top of the most wanted list. In the spring of 1879, John Slaughter moved to southeastern Arizona, where he established the 100,000-acre San Bernardino Ranch. Slaughter's ranch extended down into Mexico. One day, one of his cowboys told John that Pancho Villa and his men were killing and eating Slaughter's cattle. Alone, John went down to confront Pancho Villa. He came back later with a purse full of money to pay for the cattle Pancho and his men were eating. Slaughter's San Bernardino Ranch is located in Cochise County. Now, Tombstone is located in Cochise County. When we think of Tombstone, we think of the herbs and how they cleaned up the town. But in reality, it was John Slaughter who did the cleaning up. About five years after the Earps left Tombstone, Slaughter was elected the sheriff of Cochise County. Slaughter gave lawbreakers the option of being gone in 24 hours or being shot. And any lawbreaker who was not gone or didn't surrender peaceably disappeared, left somewhere in the desert as buzzard bait. But as one observer said, he didn't like to shoot people. He did it simply because it was in a day's work. It was his duty, and he didn't flinch in his duty. Slaughter decided to give up his career as a lawman after firing both barrels of his shotgun point blank at an outlaw and missing. Texas John Slaughter died on February 16, 1922, at the age of 80. John Slaughter is remembered as a cattleman, gambler, gunman, lawman, and pioneer. Although he was short in stature, he had the heart of a giant. I'm Dakota Livesay with Chronicle of the Old West. Thanks, Dakota. For more information, visit ForTheOldWest.com.